Hey, what's up? My name is Seb at web and this is a quick video to talk about how to install the WooCommerce plugin for WordPress. So whenever you start selling products and you have chosen to go forward with WordPress instead of, for example, Shopify, maybe Squarespace or Webflow, it's totally up to you. But I personally like to work with WordPress and WooCommerce, which gives you a tremendous amount of customization possibilities. It's there for free. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I'm recording this on the 9th of March, 2025. So maybe the initial guided setup has been changed a little bit. Um, but for now, this could be really beneficial if you just want to start off and want to know a little bit about this guided setup and how to install a plugin. So this is the plugin that has been found on wordpress.org. However, you don't need to do this manually. You could, you could download and then upload the plugin. Uh, you can also go directly to WordPress. And I guess you already installed the WordPress uh, uh, as your uh, website foundation. What you need to do is go to plugins, click on add new plugin, search on WooCommerce, make sure to activate or install the plugin which is from uh, automatic that has about eight or nine million active installations and sometimes it can be a little bit confusing because you can see a lot of these woocommerce extensions so make sure to take this one install it and i have a multi website so it looks a little bit different but the setup is the same once you have installed then just activate it so this is the setup wizard and this is the first step which is asking not a lot, but in most cases, not a lot of people seeing this will be enabled. And this is the tracking that have been will be done by WooCommerce. It's totally up to you. I personally don't like a lot of tracking. I just want to be cautious about it and choose my own things that can be tracked or not. So I disabled this and then I click to set up my store. Then there are three options. If you're setting up your e-commerce business from, from start, if you're maybe already selling, so maybe you're running already a web shop, maybe on a different platform like Shopify, or maybe you're already selling on WooCommerce. The reason why they're asking this is it will give you some options uh, for importing other products or syncing products with a different database. If you're setting it up for a client, meaning you're a web developer or a web designer, you can choose the third options, uh, third option. I'm selecting the first option. Let's say I'm just starting off fresh with my e-commerce business. Then I click on continue. Then it will take my initial WordPress site name. In most cases that will do, but if you wanna give it a different store name, feel free to change it. Then it's doing some research in which kind of industry is your uh, web shop active. I would say electronics and computers. Then it's asking, where's your store located? And as you can see, this is recommended, so it's required. And the reason why they're asking this is whenever you're setting up your shipping options or maybe your tax or VAT, it wants to know your base location of your web shop. Then it's asking the email address. And then it's also asking if you want to opt in for the WooCommerce newsle newsletter. I guess if you want to change this email address, for example, for your store notifications, meaning if you made a purchase, so you, a new order, then you can maybe preferably change this email address to a more store related email address. Then I click on continue. And then it's doing some plugins recommendations. And I have found out that over time, they're changing some basic plugins based on popularity. However, the most recommended plugins is the WooPayments and the Jetpack that, it, that probably they will offer this for a long time by default. Um, let me just quickly run through this. So WooCommerce Payments, it's a very easy plugin to set up your payments. It's a payment service provider. So you can activate your credit card, you can connect PayPal, Express PayPal, uh, Google Pay, Apple Pay. So it's I think it's a great extension. It's also made by the founders of Automatic. So you're sticking very close to the source, which always gives me quite a good, uh, it gives me trust. And they have quite reasonable payment fees when you compare them with other payment platforms. Uh, so if you don't want to get a lot of hassle, uh, WooCommerce Payments is, a, I think, a great payment uh, service provider. So Jetpack is more for tracking, performance, optimization, and also security. 
however, I don't use that a lot, so I disable it by default. I actually disable everything by default in most cases because I want to choose my plugins wisely only when I need the plugin uh, as an extension of my installation. Because the more plugins you install, the more it will affect your speed, but also vulnerability, so your security. So only choose plugins when you're thinking, no, not thinking, but you're, when you're really ready to use them. So again, this is for social media. So if you want to connect your Facebook and Instagram directly with your shop catalog, which is great, especially when you want to do advertisements and they have the pixel tracking. So meaning whenever you do a sale or like a conversion, it will be automatically tracked. And that data is of course very important uh, when you're running ads. Clavio is for marketing. Maybe you want to sell with Google, like the Google Merchant. You can activate this and TikTok is of course a very popular plugin these days, especially for the younger audience. So for now, I will just disable it, continue, and then it's finishing up the installation. Again, there are more uh, steps to go, but this is just the basic setup uh, for installing WooCommerce uh, in 2025. So thanks for watching. See you in one of our next videos. Bye-bye.